There is a place where dreams are born and time is never planned. It's called Never Never Land, a place as mystical as the land of Oz and as timeless as the memory of childhood. It is the land from which Peter Pan flew onto Broadway in the 1950s, and for many now grown-up children, its star Mary Martin will always be the real little boy who never grew up. Now, as correspondent Dale Haramoto reports, her long-lost rendition of the play is back to teach a new generation about youth, joy, and freedom. Think lovely, wonderful thoughts, and off you go! I never watched myself being hooked up. I'm flying. I felt that I really could fly. Look at me, way up high, suddenly, here am I, I'm flying. When I was Peter Pan, I would say, I am youth. I am joy. I am freedom. Friday night, for the first time in 16 years, Mary Martin will get another chance to convince us that she really can fly. She first brought her Tony Award-winning performance to TV for live broadcasts in 1955 and 56. By 1960, videotape had been invented, so Mary's third TV trip to Never Never Land was preserved for the forever land of reruns. Beneath my dignity to climb a tree, I'll never grow up, never grow up, never grow up, not me. And that's what I've lived by. I am youth, I am joy, and I have freedom. Peter Pan was just one of a series of legendary roles for Mary Martin. She took Annie Get Your Gun on national tour. Forty years ago, she had Broadway in a lather for South Pacific. Ten years later, she brought the great white way alive with the sound of music. And when she and Robert Preston vowed, I do, I do, the audience did. Mary shares responsibility for another long-running hit. Nighttime soap opera Dallas stars her son, Larry Hagman. Was there ever a time in your very busy, successful career when your children just wished you were a mom instead of such a big star? I think Larry felt this when he was very little. I think that he did feel this about me. Unlike his stepsister, Heller, Larry said he had no interest in acting or his mother's career until he got the lead in a high school play. It was the same school where his mother starred in countless productions and her name and credits were written on a backstage wall. So he struck that all out, took, took a thing and just drew, drew lines through it and put his name on top. <laughs> <laughs> he, had some, he had a little bit of J.R. in him then. Today, they're each other's biggest supporters, and Mary needed moral support after a car accident in 1982 that killed her longtime manager, Ben Washer, and put both Mary and actress Janet Gaynor in the San Francisco General Hospital Trauma Center. Only ten days later, with a nurse at her side and using a walker, she left the hospital under her own power. When I heard such a sound, you could not believe it, and I looked up. And it was all the doctors and all the nurses at the top where they do all the operations, leaning out the window, crowing. So naturally, I crowed back. <laughs> Soon, she was back for a second season of the PBS series Over Easy, an inspiration to the show's mature target audience. The minute you start just sloughing off and not doing anything, that's when you are aging and you will never come out of it. What's left for the 75-year-old veteran of so many roles? She says she dreams of one more performance that'll require a flight plan at Madison Square Garden. She's already talked to her friend, the owner. And I said, uh, does, does Madison Square Garden have a, a window at the back? Yeah, I know they can come in, but is there a big, a big window? He said, no. And I said, would you ever think of, of making one? And he said, but why? And I said, because that's the way I want to go. <laughs> he said, go where? I said, out. He said, you mean you won't come back? I said, no. Let's keep going. You know, what's interesting is a whole new generation of kids will now see the classic production of Peter Pan. That's right. And you wonder how they're going to enjoy it because they're now... Children growing up nowadays have seen such sophisticated things in movies and television. Yeah, but I think some things are timeless. You know, The Wizard of Oz was on the other night. Of course, I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I think some things, they, they, they don't matter. You know, they've made a lot of, of, of technical advances in books, you know, books that talk and everything. And kids still like you to sit down and read them a story and look at the pictures. And I think some things are very basic. I wonder how Mary Martin is going to like swinging around that stage now. Uh, well, I don't think she's going to be swinging. That's an older, an older production. She's in her, what, 70s now? Right, I don't, right. I don't think that would be good for her back. When we come back... It's I won't grow up, I won't grow up. The original television I, classic. I gotta grow. The return of Peter Pan. I'm flying. The music.
musical fantasy that will send your heart soaring. Peter Pan, Friday.